what's going on YouTube? Hey, thanks for tuning in. And for those that have subscribed, thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Um, for those that haven't subscribed, hey, smash that subscribe button and uh, become a subscriber. Follow me around. Um, I do a variety of different types of beers. You can check out my playlist on MGUNZ Beer Review. That's right, MGUNZ Beer Review. You're here now. So please subscribe. Give me thumbs up. And uh, at the end, you know, leave a comment. I'll get back to you. Not a problem whatsoever. All right, today I'd like to give a shout out to Reyes Boyer. Uh, he uh, gave me this uh, awesome beer from um, Trogues Brewing, uh, Brewing Company in uh, Hershey, Pennsylvania. It's called um, Impending Descent uh, Stout. It's brewed with vanilla bean. Let's see what we got off of uh, the can. I think there is some. Uh... All right, we're looking at a. Um, it says here an 8.8, .8, but if you go to Beer Advocate, they have it at a 9.8. Uh, um, Beer Advocate rates it also a 92, which to their standards is outstanding. Um, again, it's a stout, it's a Russian Imperial. Uh, Trogue and Strong Stouts go way back, way back. The love affair started in the 90s, back when our founding brothers were discovering the art and science of brewing in their backyard. Not surprisingly, one of the first five scratch beers we brewed at Trogue's was an Imperial Stout. And we've tinkered with the grain bill, the hops, and the technique, like uh, barrel aging, ever since. Like all the uh, iterations, though, uh, it's one of the celebrations of the roasty chocolate notes of the dark grains, cane sugar, in the boil boosts the ABV, and amplifies the rich caramel character. All right? Sounds like my kind of beer. Take a look at the, uh, the uh, can itself. Trogues Brewing, yep. Yeah. I did uh, Mad Elf by Trogues Christmas Time. It's made with cherries, and I think it's like a 10.5. Got a lot of strong notes to it. A boozy in smell and in taste, but the cherries really are well balanced, and it, uh, you can go check out that video um, by Trogue Brewery on my um, playlist uh, called Mad Elf. Check it out. All right, like we said, it's a uh, stout. It's a Russian Imperial. It's brewed with six different types of malts, believe it or not varieties to unleash that intense chocolate smell and flavor, as well as the vanilla, the dark fruit, and they got a little bit of coffee in there, all right? They say it's got a little bit of a hop to it, but I don't know why when it's a stout, so hey, may have a little grapefruit smell, I don't know, but we'll take a look uh, at the color, we'll take a look at all the appearances the beer gives off, and then we'll smell it, and then we'll do my favorite, we'll taste it. So without further ado, let's smash this sucker open. Nice. Take the old pint glass. Let's go to work. Very, very, very dark in color. And that also includes the head. Very dark, very tight bubbles. Um, zero, I say zero carbonation going on. <clears throat> Again, the smells of the chocolate and the coffee just come right out of it. Yeah, um, this was in the fridge, probably 40 degrees. It's not as cold as I'd like it, um, but hey, sometimes you get your best taste and your best smells when it's, uh, you know, not as cold as it would be. We all know that, all right? So, uh, <clears throat> hey, as this settles down a little bit, um, again, please subscribe, pass the word around. Um, once again, a shout out to Ray's Boyer for uh, providing this awesome beer to me. I really appreciate it. A lot of other beers coming down range. It's getting a little hotter out here in North Carolina. The weather's uh, been really nice. So <clears throat> that means, you know, a lot more beers to be drunk. All right. All right. Let's give it a smell. Let's see where we're at. Again, like I said, I got a coffee. I got a, I got a, a, a chocolate smell going on. Vanilla. Some grapefruit, some dark, not grapefruit, but dark fruit going on. Almost smells like a burnt caramel, maybe a burnt toffee. Maybe a little bit of a, a, a bourbon smell going on. All right, salute.
burnt marshmallow, most definitely. I don't want to, not, not too much toffee, really. I think I, it's almost like when you're doing marshmallows, you know, and uh, over the fire and uh, you burnt one, that's the taste that's going on. Not one of my favorites. Uh, it's pretty, uh, <clears throat> it's pretty potent. I'm sitting at a 9.8, but actually the can says 8.8. .8. It's got a little booziness to it. It's one of these where I think I need to have a meal and, and drink at the same time. It's not a guzzler. Okay, <clears throat> but um, all in all, the flavors do come out. Um, like I said, that burnt caramel, the uh, burnt marshmallow, most definitely. Um, that coffee note, a little bit, a lot of chocolate, but I want to say more of a bitter chocolate, not, not a sweet chocolate, okay? <clears throat> the head is very marshmallowy, okay? Um, very fluffy, egg-like. Yeah, it's a strong one, folks. It's a strong one. Um, holds its own, well-balanced. Flavors are pretty decent um, for a stout. As you can see, we got a lot of um, uh, uh, lacing going on on the glass. Uh, it's a good day, all right? So if you don't know how I rate my beers, I rate them on salutes. That's right, salutes. One being ah, uh -uh, four being good to go. This right here, uh, Impending Descent uh, from Trogues Brewery in Hershey, Pennsylvania. I'm gonna give this one a two, all right? A two saluter. Boom, wow! Two salutes to you, all right? Russian uh, Imperial Stout. Pretty, uh, uh, it's, it's pr pretty tasty. I'm just not a big fan of the burnt marshmallow and uh, some of the other notes and some of the other ingredients, but all in all, it was two out of four, not bad. So uh, that's all we got, folks, all right? Thank you once again for tuning in. And again, subscribe. It's all you got to do, all right? Another shout out to Ray's Boyer for this beer. Thank you once again, my brother. And uh, I look forward to seeing you all on my next beer review. But remember this, do what's right when no one's looking.